All right, and hey there, Proxians, and this is Proxfight here. Hey, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Paper Mario 64 Let's Play. So if you guys are probably wondering where I am right now, I'm in, actually in the uh, tropical oasis right now around here within the dry, dry desert section. Because if you guys do recall, we actually were heading on over to the dry, dry outpost. And uh, not only that, uh, we actually did go and spot out with the uh, Chuck Quiz guy. And not and only that, but we also did go and meet up with uh, Merle as well, too. And actually went and uh, got ourselves our special little neat feature so that every time that we go and do a battle or anything of that matter we could get some special nice good goodies that could probably happen we could get ourselves extra star points we could probably get ourselves our health back i think that was also like another thing that we can also go and do as well uh, but for why i'm actually all the way back here to this tropical oasis section is that we actually need to go and hunt down for a special lemon now this lemon in particular is something that we actually do have to go and kind of well I, I don't think you really need to go and give this over uh to the to the mouse if you wanted to but it is something that i kind of always like go we get doing because uh because then we can actually be able to then go and head on right on into uh the actual place of where that guy is and i think he'll probably give us the item that we actually do need i think to actually go and reach on into where king toon koopa's place is going to be at but yeah if you just go and whack on this tree here you can get yourself a special lemon now i don't know if you can go and do this over and over again but we'll have to go and probably check that out but you can also go and hit this one as well and you can also get yourself a lime as well too and now these things are actually really nice and not only this but right down on here we can actually get ourselves a full health so if you ever are missing out on uh, on trying to figure out on where the health is going to be you can grab it right here but this is also going to be a special little section here uh this is actually going to be a level up thing that we can actually go and do for one of our guys for the time being now since we actually do have uh let me just go and check it on our team members here we actually do have gubario bombette and also with palm uh, and also with, with that paracarry for this one and i think for me personally is that i think we're going to go and uh, probably be using bombette so i think we're gonna go and probably up on bombette skill i think and we'll go and see what is gonna happen from here so this is a super block so with this you can go and upgrade on one of your party members now later on uh, within the paper mario 64 game if you have never actually went and played this game before we are gonna be heading on over to the yoshi village at some point and we're gonna get ourselves another upgrade so that we can actually go and uh basically double up on our uh well, well i guess on our abilities for our different partners which that'll be really cool later on and those are like my favorite abilities are going to be the ones that we actually have to go and double them up at some point so yeah so so which party member do you want to go and upgrade well let us of course go and do bombette because that is the reason why that i have bombette right here so you don't want to go and upgrade this party member yes i do and uh, i think right on after i think we'll do cooper right after that and i think we should be set so now i think we got ourselves the super bomb upgrade or something like that i can't really recall exactly what the actual move of uh what of what bombette is so we could go and uh, check out on her uh, power here yes we got ourselves the power bomb explode and destroy all enemies which that is going to be amazing uh yeah it's just going to be like a big huge like a earthquake uh or, well i guess it's like a, a much powerful type of quake hammer uh type of move but it's going to eat up a lot of fp so make sure that you actually do have enough fp on you uh, at all times now i think we can actually go and come right back in and come right back out to this and i think the lemon and the lime will actually go and respond right back so yeah but these guys are pretty nice uh, but let's see so it restores one hp at two fp which that's also pretty handy uh, but i think we're okay so we'll actually just go and throw this out then yeah i'm good i we'll, we'll probably come back to those lemons and limes a little bit later uh but yeah we got some more of these annoying uh bandit guys oh and a pokey ah pokey oh fine we have to go and worry about these guys huh well, it's a good thing that we could actually go and try our brand new move here, the Power Bomb. So let's go and use this. So just like our other previous move from before, do six damage and completely destroy those guys out of the way. Should we go and do it again and just get the last bit of uh, grinding out of the way out here? Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. Hold on, I just want to go and grab out Gubario just in case. Aha, take that. Oh no, okay, this could be a little bit of a problem. Okay, let's go and tattle out with these guys here. So we know that these guys are pokies. And uh, that's literally about it there. Um, let's go for... Uh, I don't really have anything else for this matter to kind of help us out. I think we may probably just have to just go for our hammer attack. How much is this going to do? Two damage. All right. Ouch. Uh-oh. This could be a problem. Ouch. Hey. Hey. Try to rob me out. Oh, ha, nice try. 
You're not gonna get my money this time, dude. Okay, we need to go and basically switch around with party members here. So let's go and change out the member. We'll go out into Bombet, and we'll make sure that we'll get our money back. Oh, and unfortunately, I don't really have anything to kind of help us out with this, though. Ah, there we go. That goes and destroys out the pokey there. Nice, we blocked it. And this man's going to run away with my money. Oh, again. Okay, this is going to become a little bit of a problem. Um... Now, I guess we'll probably have to... I don't think I can go for a body slam on here or else I'm going to get injured. Yeah, that's bad. That's a bad idea. And we're injured. Uh-oh. Uh, we need... Okay, that's FP. I need to at least get myself healed up for a little bit. Let's go and get ourselves a little bit healed up from this. Come on, man. Ah! No, not another two damage. Hey, my money! This man ran away with my cash. Uh, little Steve. Man. These guys can become a major issue later on. Well, just for this one particular area. Oh, no, not again. Ah! Ouch. Okay, well, at least the good thing is that with these pokies here... You know what? Take this. Get out of here, man. At least we'll be able to get some cash, hopefully, a little bit later on within this place. Uh, can I get some cash, please? Thank you. Oh, it got us the drive through. Thank you. Oh, well, if I want to take care of that, I don't think we got any more of those pesky, annoying uh, bandit guys. Oh, I think I heard another one. <laughs> I think I heard another one of those guys kind of floating around here. All right, now we're back up uh, to where we are originally. Thank goodness. Okay, let's go ahead back to Dry Dry Outpost. I don't want to be here anymore. No, 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 no. Just run away from that guy. He's going to become a major problem. Ugh, thank you. Okay, now we're back on here. <laughs> Back on the right track. No more of those bandit guys. But yeah, we are close to night. Well, well, we are at the uh, at the 90 limit uh, mark uh, for right now uh, for our EXP grinding. Uh, so just literally just a few more, and then we should be able to get ourselves our level up, which that'd be uh, very handy indeed. But uh, let's go and make our way on over to this place, which I think this guy right here, because we do have a lemon or a lime that we can go and give on over to him. So let's go and give him something. I think, well, you know what? Let's go and give him a dry fruit. Can a dry fruit actually work? How about this, man? Ah, you give me something, uh, you might be nice. But if you have something very, uh, but, but if you're a very nice guy, you'll give me something more. Oh, okay, fine. Well, then how about uh, you take this lemon here, right? I thought I gave you an egg. But for some reason, it seems like it doesn't work like that. But you have proven that you're a nice guy. And so giving me my favorite thing. So since that you're so nice, I'll tell you something really nice. Uh, well, uh, we need to see how to see Mustafa. Because I think that was one of the guys that we needed to go and talk to, right? And to find Mr. Mustafa, you have to go to the shop into this town. But first, you have to go and buy a dry shroom and then buy a dusty hammer. Uh, you must uh, buy uh, them in the correct order. So remember, dry shroom first and then a dusty hammer. Okay. So this is a secret sign that you know to those uh, loyal to uh, the Mustafa. So if you go and buy these things in the correct order, then the owner of Mustafa's shop will let you, will let you uh, go and see them. So remember, you must uh, not buy them in the incorrect order. So if you still seek to knowledge, you must give me, some, uh, give me something to understand more. Uh, well, I think that's enough. I think we're all right. Well, goodbye then. All right, so I wish you luck in finding Mr. Mustafa, nice guy. Hmm. Well, he does seem a little bit suspicious. Maybe he could probably be him. Wink, wink, maybe. <laughs> But let's go and uh, check back out over to the store, right? Because we have to go buy a dry shroom and then a dusty hammer, huh? Well, I think we already do have enough cash for both of those. So yeah, it's only for two and for the dry shroom. Well, at least we do have enough money for this. All right, so thank you. And the dusty hammer. Yes. All right, thanks. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, ho, oh, uh, buying a dusty hammer after a dry shroom. Oh, is this a secret sign that only friends of Mr. Mustafa know? That means that you're that, that you're in uh, Mustafa. Hey, brother. Uh, good to meet you. You have any questions that you need to be answered? Hmm. Well, uh, yeah. You want to go see Mr. Mustafa? All right. So he's usually up in the highest part of the dry, dry outpost. So, so just keep on going up, my man. All right. So just keep on going up, you say. So where the heck do I go from here? There must be like at least like some sort of ledge or something that uh, that we must have to probably go and kind of walk around up on, right? Now, I know it's been a little bit of some time since I have done this before, uh, but let's go and check it over in the next part of the uh, of the section here. Maybe I can try, probably check something around in the back here. No. Uh, let's go and head on over to... Oh, here we go. Here's the door. Maybe this is where he could be at. Yep. 
I think we have to go ahead all the way up into this part. Yeah, because since this guy kind of blocked our way from the last time, this is where you actually have to go up into the very part of the rooftop for this. Hey, and also too, not only that, but also make sure to grab out the letter, because that's also another paracarry letter that we actually do have to go out and grab. And uh, just for me to kind of play it safe, I guess, we're just going to go and use our boy paracarry for the, for the time being here. Because I kind of want to make sure that we can actually land on this properly. I know that I kind of screwed this up one time before. <laughs> not doing that again. Oh, there he is. Hey, Mr. Mustafa guy. Let's go and talk to you. So, hey, nice guy. We meet again. I'm glad that you found me. And there he is. So, yeah. So, he was basically the same dude that was kind of just, like, chilling over back over at that uh, over at that tree there. So, I'm Mustafa. I'm the one that you've been seeking all this time. So, when I'm out and about in the Dry Dry Outpost, I used the name Sheik. I'm always a good guy to go and meet a generally nice guy. So, uh, I meet people all the time. But you're, uh, by far, the nicest guy that I've met so far. Well, yeah, we did give you a few items, but your name is Mario. Yes, I heard that you want to go to the Dry Dry Ruins, but I have a feeling that you're on an important journey, so I will go and tell you a secret. All right, so Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place that my ancestors have watched over it for many generations, but I do not keep evil folk out in the ruins, so who will? But you must uh, promise me that you will tell no one the secret. All right, well, I'll give you this. Hey, there's the pulse stone. Perfect. So this pulse stone is the key to go and find the dry dry ruins. So take it to the desert, yes? And the pulse stone will go and flash above your head as as you get close to the ruins. So the closer that you get to the ruins, the faster the pulse stone will flash. So follow it where it leads you. Uh, find the place where the pulse stone flashes and, and the fastest use it to open up the way. All right. So let's go and finally put this pulse stone to the test. And we can now go and finally start making our way on over to it. So, uh, basically what's going to happen is, is that once we start heading on out back to the dry dry desert section, our post stone will kind of like have like this kind of little like hue over top, I think, like of Mario's head. And each time that that, that goes by, it'll start uh, flashing more and more and, uh, until, until it actually does happen. Now, I think we actually have to keep on heading up a little bit here and there, and I can't really recall exactly on how or where we're supposed to go for this. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Run away from the bandit guy and run away from the pokey. Oh no, 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 no. No pokey. Oh, I think I just see the thing going around. So yeah, so now we just have to just kind of fool over. Oh, hold on. So if we keep on heading around up here, maybe we can probably find it. Oh, I think it's flashing up around in here. Now, I think if you're lucky enough as well, too, there's actually one part of this area where you can go and find that there is going to be a, uh, a uh, another one of those star pieces around here. Now, I don't know exactly when that's going to happen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, now I don't know if there's like a certain way to break all these things here, but we're just gonna literally knock all these guys around. Oh, hey, you got ourselves some cash. Ah! No, this man's gonna try to rob my money. No. Oh, no. Uh, run away. Run away from this guy. No. Uh, where the heck? Ah! Oh my god, I thought that was really close. I thought he was gonna grab me right there. Oh, no. Ah, run away from the bandit guy. Oh, no. No, not today, dude. Uh, is it over here? Oh, I think we're getting close. Because uh, I think there's a lot of these guys. Ah! Oh my god, the game is lagging okay, like it's so no three tomorrow. more of those. And also, too, we can't forget about the... Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, wait. Oh god, I see a fire flower. And the game is lagging like it's no tomorrow. Um, Dusty Hammer? I don't think we really do need that. Um, okay, maybe we don't need the dry shroom. Yeah, dry shroom, that's basically useless to me. Where the heck is the revive? Well, not revive. Uh, where the heck is the star piece? Well, I know it kind of actually does look like a revive, to be honest with you. Uh, I always keep on thinking about that. Oh, here we go. I think we are getting very close uh, to it. Because the thing is actually kind of shimmering right now. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I, oh, here we go. I got some extra more cash. Thank you very much. I do need that as best as well as I can. Oh, here we go. There's something here. Oh, some more stuff here. Uh, oh, hold on, I think the pulse stone is going off. Oh, here we go, I think this is it. I think this is going to be the right place. Oh, no. Wah! Okay, so, do I just keep on hanging down from here, I guess? Oh, here we go, I think it's going off. Now we're getting really close now. Where the heck is it now? Um, is it over this way? Uh, I think we have to go up one. Just keep on heading up from here. Oh, God. 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 Run away. Run away from the pokies. Oh, here it is. I think we found it, guys. It was just right up in this little location. Okay. Well, let's go and uh, interact with this thing now. 
pull stone. We're going to place it on in. I may probably have to go and search for the star piece on my own time because I know that this area, uh, it does actually contain, I think, like two different of the star pieces that are here. But there it is. The big old temple. One of my favorite parts here within Paper Mario 64. I really do enjoy this place a lot. Kind of has like an Indiana Jones type of feel to it. And also too, not only that, but we also have uh, my dude Colorado that's also going to go and try to explore around this place as well, which he gets into some uh, shenanigans about that. Oh, and there's Mustafa right there. Oh man, look how cool this place is. It feels like a little bit like, like a Mortal Kombat stage a little bit as well too. Oh, but there it is. Those are the steps that are finally going to head on into this place finally. And not only that, but we also do have ourselves a little bit of some extra uh, health that we can also go out and grab as well, too, in the process. But this place actually does look pretty dope. Even when it's at, like, nighttime like this, it actually does look really cool as, as well. Kind of has, like, that nice, cool little charm to it. All right. Well, you know what? I don't think there's really anything else for us to go and do right now at this time being. So let's go ahead and head on inside. I think I'm ready. So, Black Blug, uh, I'm the huge Gary Chudakuma, remorseless king of the desert. Uh, who dares set foot in this is my palace of the sand. Speak to be known. Be gone from this place now or disaster will befall you. I know that this guy is actually pretty hilarious because Tsuga Koopa is trying to be like this guy that is trying to be like super scary about this, but like, he, but 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 he but he's like such a coward though. When we actually go and actually start meeting up with him, but now we got ourselves some of these different type of pokies. Now these guys actually do move really fast, and these guys are pretty scary. Oh, there's one of my favorite badges right there. No, my favorite badge, the spike badge. Oh, no. Okay. Well, you know what? We got ourselves a fire flower. Uh, well, actually, you know what? We can go and change our members out here. Now, these guys could actually become somewhat of a problem. I think these guys could actually poison you, and that can become a little bit of an issue. So, this is a Poke Mummy. Uh, Poke Mummies are Pokies that dry and become mummies when they went to live in the ruins. Four, uh, is two, okay, power is two. Uh, careful that they have spikes. Uh, trust me, it'll hurt if you jump on them. All right, yep, and they also do have poison, which uh, this is where you want to be able to block. You want to be able to block. And those guys are going to become a major issue. Uh, and we also do have a fire flyer. So we'll go and use this to our advantage here. We'll make sure that we go and uh, get these guys out of the way. Look at that. One damage to each of them. Uh, we're going to go and switch out with party members out here. We're going to go out into our boy. Uh, let's go into Cooper. Why not? I think. Uh, oh, God. Ouch. Oh, no. Ouch. Oh, come on, man. I wanted to block that. Well, at least we're not poisoned. That's a good thing. Yeah, because these pokey mummies can become a little bit of a, a little bit of a problem okay so let's go for a nice good power shell i guess it's all right we do have a one of the health things that are here if i do need to use that and oh come on we're so close 99 star points we're just right on the money spike shield no oh you pesky annoying guy oh, what the heck all right well let's go and do this again then huh there we go, that takes care of that a little bit. Power shell, I think this should kind of help us out by knocking out the other guy that's here. All right, thank you. Perfect. Oh God, ouch. Oh. Okay, well I'm not poisoned yet. That's a good thing. Here we go, let's strike him down with that hammer and he's out of here. And let's go finally get ourselves that brand new level up. All right, and let's go and finally go back to our HP and then we'll just have to go and do FP and then BP once more But we're gonna start off with this all again. So rinse and repeat with the same type of way that I'm going. Oh god It's still a tasty tonic nice Now I think that's actually something to actually use for a recipe a little bit later on. Uh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god Ah! I don't like those guys at all. They scare me um, Now let's go and head on down this way here yeah, the spike shield will actually be something really nice to go out and grab at some point. Uh, but we'll have to go and get ourselves uh, some more BP a little bit later on for right now. Okay, so they're actually done. Oh, God, he's not hes not finished yet. Yeah, he's not finished. Uh, dang it. Come on, man. Jeez, I just want to get on out of here at this point. Uh, we'll have to go and charge up. All right, we're going to charge up on my hammer. Now I can actually be able to do a lot more damage now. But let's go and make sure that you guys are going to get yourself out of here. Nice, blocked it. Blocked it. Blocked it again, huh? Nice try, dude. Try and injure me and try to get me poisoned, not happening. There we go, knocked him out. And I think, just doing this one last time, this should kind of help us out a little bit. Nice, and they're also knocked out as well too in the process. Yeah, these guys are really nice to, to get some really nice good EXP from as well too. 
and uh, doing that. Hey, look at this. And with the power of Merle, we can actually get ourselves some extra more coins. So perfect. Uh, hopefully there's no bandit guys around in here or else they're going to be robbing out on all my money for this. Uh, that's going to become a problem. Now, if we can see that there is actually going to be a locked door, we can't really go and do about that right now. So we'll have to go and head down below. And there's actually one of our keys. But doing this is going to become a problem because I think there's going to be some sand or something that's going to come around from here, is there? No, not yet. Okay, well, that was actually pretty easy enough. Oh, huh, we got ourselves a key, and now we can go and open up this door. This seems pretty simple. But I know it's going to get a little bit more crazy. Not just really with that. But now, all we have to do is just go and press on this guy. And that is going to create a little bit of a sinkhole for us. And now all that uh, all that sand is now going to be rising up to the top down below. And I think that will now go and uh, take us back to where we do need to go and be now. Oh, we can't really go and take a little bit of a shortcut, though. Unfortunately, no shortcut. But that is what is going to literally happen. This is kind of like, I guess, like a little bit of a tutorial type of section. Because we're going to have to go and press around with a whole bunch of sand at some point. Fool, you have ignored my warning, haven't you, you fool? You will fall to my legions and become a money of the sands. Oh, are you sure about that, dude? Alright, well, I do see that there is one of the uh, spiny or buzzy beetle things up here. I don't know. We should probably go and uh, knock one of these guys around, shall we? Now, I think I may probably have to go and... Uh, let's go and get you out, out of here. I think I may probably have to... Maybe... Let's actually go and do one quick thing here. I don't know if these uh, annoying pokey uh, things are going to be back again, but I think we already knocked them out already. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure that if I head on out of here and come back, I don't think that they will be here unless if I actually go and just decide to uh, to literally respawn this whole entire place. But I don't know if it's just me, but it just seems like uh, for some reason heading on into this place, it looks like Mario's a little bit kind of glitched out for some reason. I don't think like the shading really works in this place all that too much. Well, yeah, so now we're finally back up and ready for action here. Oh, God. Run, 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 run. We don't need to go and really worry about this place anymore. All right, thank you. My goodness. Oh, we're not done just yet. We have to go and fall down the other way. Ah, nice try. Nice try, Pokey Mummy. Gonna try and attack me again. Not gonna work. Okay, so now we're finally up around in this section. And let's go and actually battle out with one of these guys here. We got ourselves our very first strike out here with one of these... Nice. All right. So perfect. Uh, now, I guess since we are already here, we're not going to go and worry about um, with Bombette just yet. But we're going to go and do a little bit of a tunnel with these guys. Get ourselves the Buzzy Beetles. So, yes, this is going to be the first time of many that we are going to be seeing these guys for the time being here. So, yes. So, now he's going to be back up. And, uh, unfortunately, I'm not really the best when it comes to uh, to those at all. So, we have to go for a, uh, maybe for a jumping attack, I think. Or we have to go for a hammer. I can't really recall. I think hammers actually do a lot of damage on these guys. No, it actually does not. So we have to go and flip them over, I think. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so we have to go and jump around on them. Alright. Uh, so it looks like jumping is going to be the way of how this is supposed to work here. Alright, there we go. Do a little bit of a jump with him. And that should be able to go and take care of that. No problem. Perfect. Now, these guys actually do have some pretty nice good uh, EXP as well, too, in the process. And here we go. Another jump. Okay. Now, I don't know if Bombette would actually work out well for this fight, because I don't know if, uh, if that would kind of help out with the process, but there we go. Got ourselves Goombario to kind of get ourselves all situated in with what the Buzz of is going to be doing. Alright, awesome. Get ourselves with the last bit of extra coins here, and we should probably go and worry about Paracarry, because I know that we do need him for this job here. Because it looks like the majority of the time we actually do need Paracarry to kind of fly us on over to other different uh, ledges. I don't know what the heck is going on with Mario here. I don't know what the heck this shading issue is. Uh, I don't know if that's just like a part of the Wii or what is going on. But here we go. So this is going to be another section here. Now, I don't know if I come down through this way. Um, if that's going to become a problem. Okay, so yeah, we do need to go and pick that up with the sand. So, uh, so we have to go and do that as quick as we can. Doing that. No. <laughs> Goodbye, Bobette. I did not want to do that. But I think this is going to be the last thing that we're going to do uh, for this episode for today. And then uh, we'll just end it off here. All right. There we go. We made it back on over to this part. All right. Let's go and finally press this sand down finally. And I don't think that's going to basically take us down below there. I don't think so. 
Even if we wanted to, uh, from this part. Oh, there's a star piece. Don't want to forget about that, though. Yeah, unfortunately, you cannot go and fall through the sinkhole, though. To just to make that thing faster. But there we are. Key is for us. Thank you. This place is really not all that too bad. I think the only one section that is like slightly a little bit bad is when you actually have to go and move around with the different switches. But I think I'm going to go and end it off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe to the show if you're new. I'll see you guys when we go and continue onwards with the other stuff that's going to be happening with the Toon Koopas. A little uh, fortress, layer, shrine, temple type of thing that's going to be going on. So I'll see you guys then. And of course, peace.